So, have you ever thought about forever? Forever. What do you forever. Mean? What do you mean by forever? Like forever. Yes and no. Like if you like how they say like if you go into space it goes on forever. Yeah, yeah, I have thought about that. Like how do, how does something go forever? I don't know. Like what is that? There's got to be an ending. There's an ending and everything. Like like I mean you'd think, but for forever. What's forever? I don't know, man. This Fast and the Furious movie, they just keep going. They're going forever. There's no end to those movies. <laughs> the, <laughs> Fast and the Furious movies? Yeah. What, are they making another one? They just come out with another one. Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, that's like, that's like a spinoff. Yeah, but it's gonna, they're going to keep going. they got to at least make 10, I think, is what the contract was. And they'll probably make like... They'll probably go out. Because the, the first one came out whenever in like... 2000. It was it 2000? Yeah. Because I remember I was like, I was like, like real, I, real little yeah, whenever it I came out. Exactly. I think it was 2000, early 2000s. Yeah, probably 2000, 2002. I'll tell you what, though. If anybody was a role, mo- a role model for me, it would be Paul Walker. Really? Well, actually, it would be Brian O'Connor, his character in that movie. No. Oh. If I could be... I don't if think I I've even be, seen them all. Dude, if I could do anything in the world, it'd be that right there. That would be Being a movie thought. or just drive fast? Just drive fast. You know, like. I mean, you can do that now. You can, go out, yeah, you, you can just it, go out and drive fast. It's not the same. Like, I can't go to Los Angeles. I think that's where it's actually out of. Yeah, Los Angeles. I can't go to Los Angeles and drive their streets like a nutcase and get chased by the army <laughs> and everything be okay at the end of the day. It doesn't work like that. At the end of the day, you're going to be strapped. Well, how good are you at hiding? You. I mean, I'm decent at hiding. I, I like to consider myself a good hider. We used to play army as kids, and I, I never got found, and I, I always shot a lot of people. You shot a lot of people? Yeah, like with airsoft, or not with airsoft guns, but like Nerf guns. Like, like they were, we, okay. You so, played army with Nerf guns? Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Not all of us made a million dollars. Our mom did when we were young. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Give me crap about having a Nerf gun. Yes, I had a Nerf gun. <laughs> Actually, to be honest with you, it was a Stampede version. What's a Stampede? Fully automatic. I don't know. I don't know. I had that one and I had a sniper. We were poor. Sniper. We didn't have Nerf guns. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. We, we had sticks. Yeah, yeah. And we had rocks. We modified our guns, though, to make them shoot harder. I'm, I'm not saying they hurt. It didn't hurt. You, you probably stuck thumbtacks on them too, didn't you? <laughs> You're no. like like sticking people in the eyes. I did that one time, but I never got to hit anybody with it. Did you want to? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> did you like stick them to the wall and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I never as a kid. I tell you what, actually, uh, third grade year. So whenever you got you got points for being good, right? Yeah. Like little stickers, and they put them on your desk. Well, I won. Uh, I won. Like I got to get the treasure chest. Oh, the treasure yeah. chest. So in the treasure or treasure chest was a thing of slime, like black slime. So I get that slime home, right? And I'm like yeah. playing with it, whatever. Right <laughs> on the ceiling. <laughs> Stick it right on the ceiling. My mom instantly comes screaming at me, and like she's up there like picking the slime, <laughs> and it whoosh, falls on the floor. I used to I do that with, the, with those sticky hands. Yeah. We, there used to be like a... Oh, I forgot about those. Yeah. Those were cool, The man. grocery store we used to do that yeah. mom used to go to all the time. There was you know the vending machine with those. We'd get one of those like every time. Go home. Yep. Stick her head to the ceiling. And then like you could probably still go in that house. And there'd be like imprints of hands on the well, ceiling. That's what I was getting at. So in that house now, every time you enter, if you look at the ceiling, you can see like a black like spot right there in the ceiling. And that's where I was... Little, you know, and took the slime, was like, yeah. whoosh, threw it up, and I was like, smack, stuck. It was a good time. <laughs> you you should you should get some more of that, and then go back to your house now. And now and try it. And, yeah. and do it again, just like just for spite. <laughs> just because yeah. there's no one to tell you no, yeah. and you just throw it up there, and be like, well, I mean, this is she my house. Me, no, I guess I could just go, oh, do it at my own home? Yeah. I'm not doing it at my home. I'll go to her house and do it again. <laughs> go back to your mom's house and do yeah, it again? Yeah, I'd go to that. Oh, man. 